I know you guys have probably have, you know, looked at my hair and thought, who's this hair from? Like, I, I already know, like, y'all don't need to tell me whatever. Like, not meant to see my own horn, you know what I mean? But the hair is actually on point. So, um, I wore it on, in Carnival. If you guys were asking Carnival, I wore it literally so many times on my Snapchat. You guys loved it. And I also posted it um, with, on Trap House, um, which is, I'll sh leave the information down below as well. Um, so, Trap House actually customised this hair. So, they made it into a wig. And, um, yeah, let me even, let me not jump ahead of myself. And let me actually talk about the hair. So, let me start. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Rachel Butter. And I'm back for another video. So, guys... As you guys can probably tell by the title, this is a chit chat video. I haven't done a chit chat video like actually ever on my channel, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start, you know, doing chit chat because I want to have a conversation with y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? But um, yes, yeah, so obviously, there's a lot of you guys have been sending messages, but I will be doing it gradually, you know. There's a lot. <laughs> but a, um, a supporter did send me a message um, asking me about friend zones and how what terminology terminology that that can be used. So obviously, like you know put them in their place and make sure they stay in the friend zone and so they are aware of it. So I thought, you know, it's actually interesting because not a lot of people do talk about that and obviously I know a lot of group chats, there's a lot of group chats out there or whatever, but um, a lot of people are in a friend zone but some people are blind to see that they're in a friend zone. So I thought, you know, let me talk about it. My baby girl, Simbi, she's obviously chilling right there. So um, we'll see how it goes. Guys, this hair is from Ile Hair. So it's actually a Chinese vendor. They also, they provide different types of hair. They provide long, short, different textures. Like, like all the good stuff um so this is the packaging it came in so it came in the dhl bag which is obviously um you know that is really quick that's you know the delivery is on point um so yeah so it came super fast and super quick um this is actually virgin hair so it actually has it on the, um, on the information on the bottom so it has their socials um which will be down below um so i've got 426 inches i've got a frontal which is i believe i think it was a 20 inch or 18 inch um but which this is actually a wig so it's actually i can take it off when i want to no when i'm going to bed it's coming off um but yeah so um yeah so this is a um actual wig so i've made it into a wig but it actually didn't come as a wig so the hair was actually styled by trap house london so check out their socials um which they are so good so um i definitely say definitely buy this hair because this hair is on point um what else do you guys want to know about it so in a natural state it's actually straight hair so this is actually in its natural state so it's straight it's really silky um i have dyed it into like a navy blue i mean a deep blue so it's like a dark um blue you probably can't see it in this light let me show you. you i don't think you can see guys but um so it's a really dark blue i haven't had any problems with shredding um shredding does tend to happen with all hair like hair in your head shreds like you know it's natural um but yeah this hair it does shred but it doesn't shred like crazy it shreds like a normal you know standard hair um but yeah so this hair is really long um if you guys wonder what height i am uh, i'm five and a half so i'm basically five one if you want to put it out there so the hair actually comes to my bum i believe half a bum let me show you guys so that's how long the hair is so it's just under my bum i think this one is a malaysian hair if i'm wrong i will leave it down below because i've had it for a few weeks now so i want to try it out and see obviously you know i want to test it out before i actually you know recommend it to you guys and i would say this hair is on point like gin on point you guys i know a lot of you guys are going to reuse this bag and use it as a wig bag or use it as you know extensions or something no you guys want to reuse this bag so this is definitely helpful my hair i'm going to curl it into do like a loose kind of like beach wave well i don't know let me see how it goes let me not say something i do something completely opposite so i'm actually just going to style my hair and hopefully it goes you know goes to plan um but yeah so yeah i want to chit chat with y'all so let go i don't think there's a set way of putting someone in a friend zone there's no set way is there yeah it's just about the way you are around them how you speak to them yeah i feel like i feel like you would know like as in like obviously if you like a guy you're not going to talk to them the same way you talk to your friends exactly. so i'll say terminology wise anyways regardless like the way you speak to them and the way you use the use of language it's going to be different but some guys won't realize that because you're not they don't realize how you talk to other people because they're not around other people mm. so i feel like in that case i feel like you just have to set boundaries and like I feel like the basic is just to let them know don't call me at the same time. Exactly. That's the basics. Um, and I would definitely say always, I, for me what I tend to do is, if I'm if I'm not in a relationship and I'm single or whatever, 
and I know I'm not interested in the gang because obviously some guys when they think you're because they know you're single they will try and shoot their shot when they're in a friend zone so I feel like you just have to mention a guy do you not think I, for me that's what I have to, that's what I do like if, if that's the case if I know that they still they feel like they've got a shot you just have to mention a guy like even if you don't see that guy you just oh that guy's cute or do you know what I mean like just mention I think I just fall back not fall back but I just kind of like I just stop talking to them less a little bit like just so yeah. they kind of get the message but maybe I don't know maybe just tell them <laughs> no but sometimes even if you tell them they kind of I feel like as well it depends on how sensitive they are because I feel like sometimes you can't actually say because they will fall like <laughs> I don't know I like for me but for me because obviously now like <laughs> I ain't single <laughs> but um if I was single and I had a guy that's trying to approach and trying to keep going that way and even though you've let it yeah even if you told them I, I feel like I probably was I would probably step back a bit I definitely would step back a bit I'd step back all the way no all the <laughs> I'll be stepping back. All the way there. <laughs> now, I definitely will be stepping back because obviously they are they blind to see and you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings exactly. in the process. But at the same time, I feel like I feel like a lot of guys hope for the best and they feel like because they're in a friend zone, they feel like they have a chance anyways at the end. Because mm. there's, there's some guys that actually escape the friend zone. They yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean even if I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> No, but like I've I've been in situations where, I've been in a situation where someone was in a friend zone and they have escaped that friend zone. Yep. Mm. Big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. I feel like once you're in a friend zone, I feel like you stay, stay in, in the, the friend, friend zone. zone. You're not moving. No, you're not moving. <laughs> from from experience now, you're not moving from the friend zone. If you're a friend and you approach me as a friend, or if you feel like okay, maybe I can approach her later on or a different manner, I'm no, you're not. There's no escaping. That's it. There's no hope. There's no hope whatsoever. So. For me, I'll definitely say I don't know in terms of terminology. There's no set terminology though. That's the thing. I think just watch what you say. Watch yeah. The things that you tell him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely say like watch what you say. But in some, I feel like it's, it's it's some girls as well though. Some girls, I feel like depending on your personality because some people are easily led on. Mm. So like, say example for me, I can be seen as I have a flirtation personality. Say example. Okay, yeah, say say example like or, or like anyone could be like a, have a flirtation because if they're seen as too friendly or they're friendly or they're talkative, they could be seen as oh they're flirtatious even though that's not the case. But you know sometimes it can be misinterpreted. But some people read things differently, so I feel like there's no set way of like do you know what I mean like letting people know because some people might see it as ah. Oh, this person's talking to me a lot, so I'm guessing they're feeling me. Or if this person's doing something, you know, that always happens, you know, you'll be speaking to a guy as a friend. Fre oh you my have to god. Be friends. And you'll be thinking, yeah, I got, I got yeah, this. little bestie, little bestie there, yeah. And then boom, they come up with the Story message. Story of my life. So you know what, man's kind of feeling you, and you're like, no! And just ruin the whole thing. Like, we were just meant to be friends. You no, were just saying as a friend. No, no. And then everything just gets ruined, and then now you gotta tell them about themselves, and it just goes left. <laughs> It's so annoying. That's that's literally the story of my life. That's the reason why I just I can't really have too many male friends. Even now, obviously being in a relationship, I'm not gonna have like obviously a lot of male friends. I will still have friends, yeah. but then I won't talk. To Guys, I hope this is in focus because my battery died. Ask him for advice for girls, yeah. wait for a, for a, for a guy, so he would know. Raw like. It's not for me then. <laughs> Even if he gives him dense advice, you don't have to take his advice. But just it'll just let him know. Jeez, um, do you know what? Let me do it this way because I'm fighting it. <laughs> but I will just let him know that you know that he's not a priority. Like, so I definitely would say that's one tip. What, what's the next thing that you can actually do? Well, apart from, oh, is this something uh, you kind of told him that? Yeah, like, you know, yeah, after you told him, yeah, that your friend, that your that friend's friend, and yeah, okay. yeah. Be still persistent, or if you don't directly tell him, like, raw, like you're in a friend zone because no, you're not gonna run into no, get a friend don't zone, say that. Like, you know? <laughs> like, if you, if you don't tell him that, raw, like, I, I just see the friend, yeah, but it's like cause some people they find it harder to kind of like, do you know what I mean, to yeah. say that, but you have to put yourself in that position because you have to think, wow, if that was me and he wasn't feeling me like that, you would want him to just be like, no, so because that's gonna knock my, like, my confidence, right? Just, just, just yeah, but smile, like, the difference. you telling him that oh, I just want to be friends. You have to also think if you're in that position, you want him to tell you the same thing. Like, true, true, or whoever true. it is, you want yeah. him to tell you the same thing. And don't just disappear on him because, you know, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that in this friendship. But I feel like, I don't know, for me, I feel like 
What's another what, what's another way to actually like put someone in the friend zone so they are aware that you're they're in the friend zone? Without telling them. Yeah, without telling them, like without making it like obviously make it obvious but like without making it like very like direct, like blunt. Just be like like what we what you just said about you know, speak about guys. Speak about guys. Them, what's another way? No advice. Because um, you know some girls, some it always like a girl's not what ready for a relationship, but then she doesn't want that guy to then be kind of persistent and to keep trying to talk to her, moving like like he's trying to get. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I like I was in a position before where I was not willing to be. I would, I didn't want to be in a relationship. Like I was enjoying just being single, like mm. no stress, nothing like that. So then, no stress, but um, <laughs> um, but um, yeah. What was I saying? But yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, but then obviously there's obviously guys that approach you that's in the friend zone are actually actually really nice, but they're not your type or they're not just not what you want, and they're just so persistent and they're just really always there for you. But then you know that they're trying to then come at the friend zone, mm-hmm. but then you don't know how to kind of like I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I have to be blunt and be like, okay. I see you as a friend. Yeah. But then there's sometimes where they're too nice to the point where it's hard. It's hard to do that. Yeah. So what is a way like? I don't know. There's actually no way. Like it, it depends on the situation, the person, the guy. Yeah. And it depends how much you care about that person. Because if you care about a person just as friends, as a friend, you yeah. Say it in the most nicest way you can, without hurting their feelings. Yeah. But I would definitely say you need to say something. We need to do something. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, How's your girlfriend? Where's your but wife? What if they don't have a girlfriend? What if they wait? They want to keep saying, like, No, what? I mean, like, for example, what if, what if, uh-huh. like, the guy just keeps saying, Oh, you're my wife, or like, Oh, you're, like, Oh my gosh, you're so paying, or they always, do you know what I mean? There's always one, there's always a, well, you always, like, everyone has that like, one friend doing too much. That does too much. Mm-hmm. So, what is this? Just, like, do you know what I mean? Like, so that's, that's when you have to be a bit blunt. You yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I see you as a bummer, you know. No, brother. <laughs> What to be fair, yeah. You use that line, yeah. No, That's but it. look at me. I look at me. I used that line before. What brother line? Like, yes. Like, look what happened. I was in a fucking relationship, but <laughs> oh shit, then. <laughs> so not all the time it works. Usually you know. that brother line is usually like, oh man, I'll, that I'll, family. I'll put them in friend zone, like as in family zone. Yeah. Like, you, you're my brother. Oh, that's my brother. What do you mean? That's yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, yeah, I thought that would work. Cause I'm yeah, sometimes it doesn't like, work. Ah. My yeah. brother. Yeah, nah. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does work. But I've learned for me, once you're in the friend zone, you're in the friend zone. There's no exiting. None of that. No. There's no exiting. None of that. No, no history will there's not none. repeat itself. Nah, I forget that. But there's no, there's no actual. I don't think there's any terminology. Like I feel like you just have to be yourself, regardless. Anyways, I'm not. But for me, I wouldn't change the way I speak or the way I mm. like have my use of language. Because obviously with your boyfriend is different, you're gonna speak a different way. As in like your terminology is gonna be different. You know, like babe, you're not gonna be like, oh Jamie, you're not gonna say babe to your friends or like the way you speak to them, whatever. But I would say if he's a friend, I'll just act like you're my friend. Like I will always say exactly. things like you're my friend. Like I will it's never like make you feel way. like Yeah, I will never make you feel like you're more than a friend. I won't make you feel like less than a friend. You get no, it? If it's a hug, it should be no additional. There's no additional. To the yeah. Hugs. There's no late. Like obviously there's can no be late, late like calls, texting, but there's none of that. Like not too much of that. There's, there's no gonna be here and there. Yeah. There's no one of it. On, on godly hours. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like, no, yeah, no visiting ungodly hours. There's hour. no exes at the end of your, your, your texting. Oh, no, no, no. That's one thing. Like, there's a lot of guys that do that, you know, that like, they put exes on top. On, on, you two reply with my ex. I reply with my ex, I'm sorry. Like, that's one thing that will make you know that you're in a friend zone. No, they use a red heart. Yeah, like purple, purple heart. Blue, blue, yellow, heart. in fact. Like, yellow. <laughs> little things. Yeah, there's certain things that you just have to, like, be aware of. Like, if you're in a friend zone. Obviously, but there's, there's some friends that you just know that they're in a friend zone, but you. You can still put red heart in it, but I feel like that that's when they know that they stay in friend zone. <laughs> but other than that, I'm fighting this, you know. And you're top. <laughs> <sighs> I'm fighting this, you know. Yeah, yeah. How you speak is how you speak, but then you just know not to be flirtatious or like anything you know that it's you'll feel comfortable with a, with a guy doing that to you, then just don't do it. That's how I see it. As. Hold on, where, where the rest of my hair is? I think you pinned it up there. It's there. Oh, it's here? Yeah. See, do you know what it is, guys? It's actually, it's actually hard work to actually curl whilst like, the mirror is kind of far. It's actually quite hard. Do I even know what I'm doing? 
Okay, guys, let's fingers crossed. Let's hope it actually you know comes out well. But the hair is really lush and smooth anyway, so it, it should come out a certain you know. But I, yeah, as, to answer your question, I don't feel like there's no set terminology to use when you're it putting someone in a friend zone. I just feel like just make sure. Same. I feel like okay, just see it as. If they're your friend, they're your friend. So treat them how you would treat your girls and treat them how you treat your boys. Do you get it? So don't treat them any different. They won't feel any different. Do you get it? That was sick. No, sorry. Shit! No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but yeah, just I'll, I don't think there's any terminology, any like terminology that's, that's different. Do you know how many times you said terminology? I know, I know. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Just do the rest of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> is this the last one? I think it's the last one, isn't it? Yeah. This looks like the shambles. Don't even film you take it off. Just, just turn around. <laughs> just turn around. Just, 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 just. <laughs> so guys, this is gonna be the moment of truth. Don't even know if I should. The moment of truth. Let's see if it actually this hair can hold a curl. Oh, another question actually, guys. Can okay, but you guys can respond. But do you know like if someone is someone's <laughs> if someone's in a if someone's out of a friend zone. So say it's not someone's in a friend zone, right? And they get out of a friend zone. Do you think they can ever go back in a friend zone? As in, you were threatened and you went to a relationship. And then, and then you think you can ever go, go back? back. To yeah. No. Do you think so? I think if the friendship was genuine. Yeah. Yes. Like if the friendship was like, oh my gosh, like it was ten, like yeah, you know, were genuinely good friends, then yeah. But it wouldn't be the same. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you can go back to being friends. Yeah. I just don't like. I feel like no, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't. Been there, done that. You can't. Yeah, like, I feel the like friendship is ruined. Yeah, you see, I thought like you see them in a different light because you've been like in a relationship with them, yeah. or if you might be intimate with them. Yeah, it's different. You don't see them, and I feel like you have a different bond with them. Like yeah. as in, like you feel like because you might have that sense of jealousy that if you know that with someone else, yeah. or do you get it? Like it's gonna be like a certain a feeling. Or there will always be a feeling. Yeah, there will always, always gonna be a feeling. feeling. But I, you can't go back as friends. Like yeah, I, I feel just, like you just. I feel like you can be, you can be, cool. you can be cordial. Yeah, you can be cordial. like you see each other, it's just nothing but love. But yeah, friends, patty patty, bestie bestie. Nah, nah, you can't. That's do like that. you're, if you're gonna take someone out the friend zone, you need just to. know that there's no returning back. Thank you. There's, there's no returning there's back. None. none of that. None yeah, of they're that. out. They're, they're out. out. Just if, know that your, like, your friendship is at risk. Like, hundred percent. There's no friendship after that. If anything should go left, there's none of that. It's nothing. So guys, what do you guys? But I think I need, I need to like puff up a little bit, innit? Yeah, the back needs to. Yeah. Okay. You should know you can hold a car. Yeah, it actually can hold a car well. So, guys. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. This hair can actually really hold a curl. I'm really impressed. So make sure you actually purchase this hair. So all the information will be down below and all the links of where I got it from and the lengths and all the good stuff will be down below. So make sure you actually purchase it. And you know, take some pictures guys. If you guys actually have this hair, make sure you tag it and you know, share the pictures, tag me in it because I would love to see it or whatever. Um, but yeah, so um, I really, really love this hair. This hair is really nice, it can hold a curl. The hair is not dry at all after I've curled it and yeah I put on a really high heat as well so it's really cute 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 anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give a thumbs up share amongst your friends and family and subscribe to my channel don't forget that and um, turn on the notification just so you're notified every time I upload a video and thank you guys so much for watching this video and you know see you guys later see you to my next video bye hi guys